Hey everyone, I'm Victor Fong. I'm a financial consultant by profession. I'm also the father of two kids. During the start of the circuit breaker measures here in Singapore when the coronavirus season is happening, my son passed me this book, 52 Things Kids Need from a Dad by Jay Palander to read. I think he wants to build stronger relationship with me while I'm working from home and he's studying from home for the home-based learning. Well, Today is already the 2nd of June and uh, phase 1 of the easing of the circuit breaker measures has happened. Uh, I'm still at chapter 47 because I've been reading one chapter a day and recorded them in a series of YouTube videos. So each chapter will contain one thing that a kid needs from the daddy. Uh, I hope that by 52 days I will have completed the whole book. Alright, so uh, today is chapter 47. If you want to see chapter 1 to 46, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel, click on the bell notification icon and then you'll receive a, a message that I release a new video reading for the day. Alright, hope that you can join me on this learning journey, that we can all become better fathers together. Today I'll read to you chapter 47, Kids Need Their Dad To Kiss His Wife In The Kitchen. Alright, I say again, Kids Need Their Dad To Kiss His Wife In The Kitchen. You see, at least three things happen when you kiss your wife in the kitchen. First, you're telling your bride that you love her. Second, you're telling that your, your kids that you love their mom. Third, you are demonstrating to your kids that passion can happen in a committed lifelong marriage relationship. Most of the kisses they see on television or movies are couples who aren't married, or at least to each other. Hollywood writers and producers seem to think that once a couple is married, sexuality becomes less than interesting. After the wedding, the romance is gone, so to speak. Well, I disagree. I also disagree, and so does God. Genesis chapter 2 verse 24 says, A man will leave his mother, father and mother, and be united to his wife, and they will become one flesh. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4 says, Marriage should be honored by all, and the marriage bed kept pure. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 9 says, Enjoy life with your wife whom you love. Proverbs 5 verse 18 to 19 says, May you rejoice in the wife of your youth, May her breast satisfy you always. May you ever be captivated by her love. Through words and actions, we need to let our kids know that we and my, me and my wife are fully committed in God's view of marriage. As an embrace or a five-second kiss in the busiest room in the house in broad daylight is strong evidence that we've become one flesh spiritually, emotionally, physically and eternally. Someone once said the best thing a father can do for his kids is to love their mother. In other words, Children need their dad to establish a strong family foundation from which they can launch themselves to the world. Right? You may have heard the argument that a young person who enjoys a secure and comfortable life at home may never want to leave, but it's just the opposite. Okay? If you provide a safe harbour, your maturing children will be strengthened, emboldened and ready for full deployment. Right? They will want to experience what mom and dad have. I believe much of today's cynicism, bitterness and anger comes from family backgrounds in this array. Marriage is a gift designed by God. It's a gift between a husband and a wife. And it's a gift of love modeled to the children by their parents. The illustration that the author saw presented by a speaker years ago helped him tremendously to visualize what God, where God should be in his marriage. Imagine a triangle with God at the top and a husband and wife at two bottom corners. The closer the man and woman get to God, the closer they are to each other. A 2008 study by the Center for Marriage and Families concluded that couples aged 18 to 55 who attend church several times a month report happier marriages than those who rarely or never attend. No surprise there, huh? The better you know the designer, the better you appreciate his work. Want to know real intimacy with your bride? Pray together on a regular basis. Often, youth pastors will counsel high school couples who are committed to following Christ is not to pray together. Wow, prayer is such an intimate act that it often leads to physical and emotional bonding, something that those young unmarried couples are trying to avoid. In summary, the formula for great marriage, pray, kiss. By the way, a fourth thing might happen when a husband and wife kiss, kiss each other in the kitchen. Their maybe five, six years old son may say, ow, or a teenager might as well get a broom, daddy. That's a sure signal you are doing it right. Key takeaway for today's learning. You have to feel sorry for couples who don't understand the spiritual side of sexual intimacy. They are missing out. 
like everything else, sex is a gift from God to be open and at the right, just the right time. Make sure our kids know that. Martin Luther says there is no more lovely, friendly and charming relationship, communion or company than a good marriage. With that, I end you the reading for chapter 47. I hope to share with you chapter 48. Alright, continue to keep learning. We can all become better fathers as we share this uh, learning journey together. See you in chapter 48. Cheers.